Hello everyone and welcome back. I am so grateful for all of the birthday wishes and everything. Yes, yesterday, which was Wednesday, was my actual birthday. October 21st is my birthday. So um, I just want to thank all of you for you know, commenting and letting me know that you wished me a happy birthday and just all of the comments, they were great. I really enjoyed reading all of them. And one of the things that I'm going to be doing is featuring a comment, hopefully within each of these videos, something that you shared with me about your day that um, was a little thing that made your day or that, you know, made it special in some way and something that struck a chord with me or that I think other people will really enjoy hearing about. Now, this is going to be much more difficult than it seems because I was inspired by so many of your comments. This, I'm loving this, okay? And I hope that all of you are as well. But if you want to be inspired as well, make sure that you're reading the comment section, like other people's comments, and um, maybe even the way that I might go about it is whichever one got the highest like rating, I don't know, but it definitely is going to be something that stood out to me. So that is going to be later in the video when I'm doing my laundry folding. So be sure to stay till the end because I have a very special one that I want to share with you. And this one was by Helen and she is one of my patrons. I'm going to be sharing her comment which she wrote over on Patreon. So many of you would not have read it if you were reading the comments um, in yesterday's video. But anyway, I wanted to share some of the things and highlights about my day today. And I hope you will as well. And just uh, let me know what special little thing you experienced today. So today, the day after my birthday, um, we had actually gone to my, my grandparents' house. Well, I did anyway, and I woke up late. I woke up and it was one of those things where I was dreaming that I was waking up late. I woke up on time, but then I thought, oh, I'm going to, you know, just close my eyes for a second. Well, then I ended up waking up very late. So I'm normally supposed to be at my grandparents between like between 6 and 6.15. I like to get there sometime between then. Well, I woke up at 6.06. .06. So I rushed to get ready. I didn't even take my morning bath or anything. I didn't do my makeup or anything like that. I just ran over there because I don't like uh, my grumpy to wait for me and then he'll send me a text scene if anything's you know, wrong or anything like that. So I just got over there quickly. I waited to take my shower till after. And um, one of the special things, I have two that I'm going to share today. And the first one is about my Grammy. She was just, you know, getting ready today. I told her after she ate breakfast that, you know, she needed to go into the bathroom, wash her face, brush her teeth, all of that. And the truth is, is that within a lot of these times that I'm helping them, I've also been trying to figure out how to work in my work, right? So a lot of times I would answer comments in that time or just watch someone else's video or, or figure out other things that I'm going to be doing, answering emails, things along those lines. So oftentimes, my grandparents see me with my head down in my phone and whenever they need me, of course, then I would help them. But I'm really trying to change a lot of that because I know that these moments are so, so short lived, you know, and, and they're just going to be gone before you know it, these moments that we have together. And um, that's one of the things that I was really taking in today. So just watching her put, you know, face cream on and, and wash her face. And it was something where I think when I first started helping, I wouldn't have realized how, how much this means to me. Um, I would have probably been thinking about all the things that I needed to do that day. My mind would have been elsewhere. 
and today I just was I was really taking this in and and there have been other moments where I've really taken things in as well but today especially because um, I'm really noticing so much of my Grammy's health declining and um, just how slow she's moving and everything along those lines so I think in the past I would have been you know just okay what's the next thing that she needs to do and and thinking along those lines as opposed to just really watching how she does what she does and so the really special little thing for me today was just really just like looking at her and just in awe of the way that she is still you know pressing through the pain and just everything that she's going through and um, she's she's struggling she's struggling to do just the normal things that we take for granted um, and you know I was just paying very close attention to the way that she does things to the order that she does it in because I realized that very soon I'm going to be doing those things for her um, you know, I do a lot of things for them right now, but there are certain things, especially when you're caring for yourself and your body, that you want done a certain way and that's what feels right. And so I think especially if you're taking care of, you know, elderly or somebody, it's good to um, realize the way that they like to do things and when they can no longer do for themselves that you try to do those things in the way that they like to do them you know that's one way that you can really honor them and so that's just you know a special little thing today a small thing but it it just um, brought me so much so much peace it there was a lot of sadness as well I would say um, these moments are just very hard for me and I'm realizing it more and more how much I'm going to miss them and um, so so I did that was a moment and you know when I was alone like I'm not gonna cry in front of them but when I was alone just all the tears started coming um, my mom was there as well and um, you know when I saw her today um, she knew she knew that things were that I'm struggling with all of this she's struggling with it too and just being able to be there for one another is a special thing I think and so uh, you know not every day is like I said before not every day is really joyful and happy and that is part of life but realizing these small moments in our life um, and how great they are and how big they are i think is what really helps all of us and um, you know many of you were expressing going through a struggle or you know losing loved ones and these are hard moments and um a lot of times people will just want to tell you you know put on a happy face and and life isn't like that we we have to be willing to feel through all of these emotions that we're having and it's okay and so if anything you know I tell you I want you to feel like you have a friend if anything just know that those of you who are are feeling sadness and pain and other things you know and you're letting all of us know about it just know it's not like one of those things where you're just sitting there complaining or something along those lines we need we need strength and a lot of times strength comes from letting others know and allowing others to pray for you and allowing others to weep with you and just know that you're not alone so that's what i hope that you can gain from this especially if you two are taking care of elderly 
grandparents or just anybody like that in your life or somebody who is ill that you're not alone and there are going to be very difficult moments but you know finding those finding those little things really I think helps and helps us work through a lot of those emotions that we have so anyway I just wanted to share that with you um, you know there may be times where I cry I laugh and all of that and so I hope that even with all of that that you will still be here and you know we can support one another in some of these just life that we go through right so that was the beginning portion of my day and then I had an appointment scheduled with a gentleman from the congregation that we attend. He had asked me on Sunday if I would come over and clean his house. And this is a gentleman that has suffered a stroke in the past, so he's not able to do a lot of the things that he once was able to do. Um, he's actually 92 years old and he's doing pr really well, I would say, for his age and, you know, just having been through the things that he has. And so Jorge came with me today and um, he's actually helped him move a couple of times and I think he's going to be moving again very soon, which Jorge will help him when that time comes. But um, it was just nice to be able to go over there, clean his house, and, you know, I let him know if if he needs his house cleaned like once a month or something, just let me know. I'd be happy to come over and help him with that because, um, and he has a little apartment, so it's nothing like my grandparents' house and I do that bi-weekly, but um, it was just, it was nice to be able to go and spend a little bit of time with him and just talk with him a little bit and take care of something. It feels good to help somebody when you know that they can't really do something like that for themselves. And so if you know somebody like that, you know, somebody older or that just can't do something for themselves, finding out just a simple thing that, like I said, we take so many of these things for granted, our mobility, right? Um, so if you are good at cleaning, even if you, I wouldn't say if you like it or don't like it, it doesn't matter, you know, some of those things, they just need to be done. And how nice is it when someone will be willing to come over and do those kind of things for you. So um, I hope that this isn't the only person that I'm able to do this kind of thing for, just reaching out to somebody else that, you know, can't do as much as you can do, I think is a great way to just be of service to someone in your life. Now another thing that I wanted to do in here was answer questions. So I have a question that I'm going to be featuring in each of these videos. And the one that kind of stood out to me yesterday was about my Gal Meets Glam dresses, which this is also a Gal Meets Glam dress. Normally I um, planned on sharing it later in the video, but um, this is a Gal Meets Glam dress. It is the same as, um, I, I have this in two other colors and I love it. I love this style, it ties in the back, it has this faux wrap look to it and I just, you know, the fabric is so flowy so it's nice, it, it does well in the wind and just doing a lot of household tasks because I can bend over and not worry about the length of it. Some of my dresses that come just a little above the knee I worry about you know bending over more it just a little more shows than I really care to have show but anyway um, let me share who asked the question it was Jean Jean Armstrong asked you know she said that she's curious about how to launder the gal meets glam dresses because the only one that she has says dry clean only I think I touched on this before but maybe it was only in a patreon video I don't know but yes all of her dresses say dry clean only and so I have tested every single one of my gal meets glam dresses and I just wash all of them on delicate I think that most of them can even be washed in a regular cycle but um, I was told by one of my patrons Jessica that a lot of companies will just put one tag on how to care for a dress 
you know, on all of their dresses because it's more cost effective to do it that way instead of making up all these different care instructions. So in a way, I kind of feel bad for a lot of people that got those dresses thinking that they can't um, wash them normally. Most of the dresses that she sells are made of polyester, 100% polyester, something that can be washed and you don't, it's not like they're made of silk or anything like that. And so, um, yes, I just wash all of them on the delicate cycle. I can even wash all of them with whatever color they are. I've washed some of my whites with burgundy because it's polyester and none of the clothes bleed through. So, um, I still like doing things in color, you know, just, it depends. It just depends. But I've been a lot more lenient nowadays and um, not, not worrying about mixing the colors because um, nothing really bleeds through. So anyway, just the delicate cycle and then I hang dry them and I don't put any of my dresses in the dryer. So um, if you do have that, just try it. Oh, but you know, if one gets ruined, I would, I would feel horrible, but I have washed every single one of my Gal Meets Glam dresses on Delicate and just used normal fabric softener. I've used normal um, detergent, so I don't um, worry about it anymore like I used to. So I hope that answers your question, Jane. And let's get into a little bit of a refresh now that I've cried, right? So another thing that maybe you already noticed if you were looking in the background in the uh, previous section was that I have some new shelves hung up in, um, in the bathroom section. So that has been something that's been on my mind. I was trying to figure out what kind of shelves I wanted to have in there and I used a little bit of my birthday money that I got from my parents to um, get myself a couple of shelves for the bathroom because I've been using a little basket that I prop up on my little stool when I'm in the bathtub to, you know, wash my hair and all the stuff that I use for the bathtub. So anyway, I got two shelves and then I got a couple of pumps because I love to decant all of my soaps and everything like that. And I, um, I'm just so excited to have a space up there now. I just did it before I started filming this video. Jorge hung those shelves up, which is another little thing. I just, I love when he does those kind of things for me because those little acts of service really make my day in some way and so does the sale of my of my stationery which is something else that I forgot to mention but uh, somebody did order a set of my stationery today and whenever I see that I just go oh that's so exciting you know that somebody else is ordering something and um, I'm excited to also share another series with you that's coming up and it's going to have to do with writing and also just sharing a story but um, that's something that I'm looking forward to as well so those are two other little things that really really made my day I would say and last night let me do a little recap of last night too though is that um, the kids were so excited about my birthday. They were gone all day, right? They were doing their their classwork and everything at my mother-in-law's house. And when we went to get them before we went to, to Bible study, um, we just didn't have time to do anything together. So once we got home, we got to enjoy the cheesecake and they wanted me to be in my room. And then, you know, they asked me to come out and, Aria had put a bunch of tea lights all over the table and arranged a happy birthday banner on the table and put candles on the cheesecake and you know they were all helping and they all had little special gifts for me and um, it was just, it was the sweetest birthday that 
I've had, I feel, with them. Like, they're just to that age where they really care. They want to make it special for you because they know how much they like to feel special on their birthday. So that was just something that was really nice. And, um, and just, you know, all the little gifts and everything. Um, Jessica, one of my subscribers on here, she had sent me a gift card to Ulta in the morning. She wished me a happy birthday and told me to check my email and you know, just it's all those little things that made my birthday special. And of course, I talked about this yesterday, but I didn't really share um all those all those little things that happened. So, anyway, that that's going to do it for the little things today. Oh, and I will I will give you a, a little peek of the bathroom as well. Another thing I get questions about is what I have in all of these containers. So I have some Epsom salts right in here, the pink ones, and then I have just some soap. This is rose soap that I got from Ulta, and I also have some eucalyptus they're like shower tablets that i just broke up to use a little bit each time and usually i'll just put that in some hot water so that it can you know smell nice in here this is some body wash and then this is rose body oil so you can put that in the bathtub and um, you know just soak in that which is really nice and then these two containers I got today and I found them at Home Goods. And um, I just love the shape of shape of these. And so yes, I got these. I was between this and like a brushed gold look, which was really pretty as well. But I'm glad that I went with this just because most of the trays that I have are that color anyway. So I just, you know, it it's one of those things where it goes better with the kind of things the hardware and stuff that i have in here and then these towels i i purchased from home goods a little while ago so um yeah that is about it and i'm like i said this is one of those little things that is just going to make a big difference because i'm not going to have to use all my stuff like lean over the bathtub basically to get all of my things out of a basket that's on the ground or even on a bench seat so yes that was a wonderful little thing today so for the rest of the evening we're going to be going over to my grandparents house to move things over there that we're going to be selling at the yard sale and i talked about this in yesterday's video but um that my brother's going to be going over there to help, you know, move heavy stuff. And he's, my grandfather has been going through a lot of his things. And so he's just ready to sell a lot. Um, and we're going to take advantage of this time and the location of their home because it's, it's located in a better place for a yard sale, especially than our home. So um, that is what we're going to focus on this evening. The girls have already gone through a lot of their stuff already, and um, Ivan's gone through a lot of his stuff too, so we're just going to make it a, a family occasion and just enjoy one another's company and trying to set up for that yard sale that's supposed to happen tomorrow morning. And so like I said, I'll let you know how the beginning goes, and then it'll also be set up for Saturday as well. So anyway, for dinner tonight, right after I'm done with this, I still need to go and make some dinner and I'm going to be making tacos tonight. I think we're going to have tacos and really that's all everybody likes to eat is just the tacos because we put lettuce and tomato in there and um, yeah, that's about it. Keep it simple. We're gonna do something quick. That way we can go over there I'm also going to let them have the rest of the other cheesecake that we have left and that will be it. Everybody can load their dishes and put everything, you know, we can start it and um, then everything will be cleaned up and and I was just having everybody do a, a clutter check right now because um, they really allowed things to get out of hand today with, you know, being home and whatnot. So. Yes, 
now to, um, and I, as I said about my dress, it's from Gal Meets Glam. Thank you all so much for being here and spending this time with me. I hope that you found some inspiration in some way. If you are new, I hope you will consider subscribing. And I'm also linking certain things in my description box that you might be interested in, such as my Etsy shop, as well as a way to become a patron if you are looking to support this channel. And for everything that you do, I just want to thank you. And until next time, I hope that you all take care, stay well, and we will talk tomorrow. Bye everyone. I'd love to share, if I may, a special little thing that happened to me this morning. I'm an early riser like yourself, as I love to see the sky change color palette when the first light comes up. I take the opportunity to head down to our local park by 5 a.m. for my walk. Amazing transition from dark to dawn as I watched the bats fly home to their roosts and the magpies begin their morning warble. Nature blesses us with so many gifts. On these morning walks, I cross paths with an elderly gentleman who also enjoys this time for his daily exercise. He's quite slow, and I recognize his gait shuffle from a distance. We began to exchange good mornings and eventually began to stop for a quick chat. The last few weeks I noticed his absence and felt heavy hearted each time I headed home without seeing him. Isn't that odd, given that in reality he is a stranger? This morning though, I was so relieved to see his silhouette shuffling down the path once more. We paused for a quick catch up. He's well, just getting slower and intends to keep moving as long as he can. Bless him. That in itself, made my day. Let's all continue to count our daily blessings as long as we can. Helen.